بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته math grade 7 we are in model 6 write and solve equations write and solve equations today we have uh, lesson 4 solve two steep equations solve two steep equations the form p between parentheses x plus q equal r in this lesson we want to learn how to solve two steep equations of the form p between parentheses x plus q equal r. Now I want from all to prepare your notebook. We have some exercises. The question use the distributive property to evaluate. We have exercise number one, please. What's your name? Muhammad Omar. Okay, thank you, Muhammad. Okay, listen to me, please. Here you want to use distributive property. Take four, multiply. Yes, what is your answer? Forty-four. Okay, thank you, Fala. Okay, take four, multiply by two. Four times two will be eight. Then take four, multiply by nine. Four times nine will be 36. Then we can add eight plus 36 will be 44. Great work. Okay, the second one, please. Yes. Mister, the answer is 210. Okay, great. Who has this answer? 210. Great, great for all. Okay, listen to me, please. Take 10, multiply by 20. 10 times 20 will be 200. Plus. 210. 10 times 1 will be 10. Now, 200 plus 10 will be 210. Okay, exercise number three, please. Mr. Can I solve exercise number three? Mr. 102. Tell me your answer. Mr. Can I solve it? Yes, tell me your answer. 102. Great, Abdullah. So what what I can do here? Mr. 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 Two, Mr. We do two times seven is fourteen. Mm -hmm. Plus then two times forty four is eighty eight. Then, and then we plus it together and the answer is one hundred two. Great work, thank you, Falah. Okay, exercise number four, please. Mr. Exercise number four is 590. 590, Mr. 620. 626. 490, Mr. Excuse Mr. Just add. Mr. Mr. Muhammad Omar, 600 and... 26. Mm -hmm. So here we have addition, you can add directly. 5 plus 5, 10. Uh, 
uh, 1 and 1, 2 plus 7 will be 9, then 590. Right. Who can read exercise number 5, please? 140. Mr. Abdullah Jabri, Mr. Abdullah Jabri. Okay, Abdullah. Each of the students, uh, each of the 24 students in Ms. Rodriguez's class needs four notebooks for language and two for math. And the expression is 24 uh, open parentheses, four plus two close parentheses can be used to find the total number of notebooks this class, this class needs. How many notebooks are needed for Mr. Mr. Rodriguez's class? Mm -hmm. 144 notebooks. So what can I do here? Mr. 24 times 4. Mm -hmm. Will be? 24 times 2. Mm -hmm. Then 24 times 2. Will be? Then the answer is 144. Okay. Let us check the answers together. Here 44, here 220, 210, and here 102, and here 450. Wait, Mr. Uh, Mr. How the above 450? How much is 450? And it's 500. Exercise number four. Yes. Yes, Mr. This here I have, I think here we have uh, wrong. We have problem here in this question. Yes, Mr. Yes, this is wrong, yes. The answer is 590. 590, yes. Here we have wrong. Okay. This is from the platform, not from me. This is from the platform. Yes, Mr. Sometimes they are wrong. Right. Now we have this equation, solve 3 multiply between parentheses 5 plus 8, where x plus 5 equal 45, then check your solution. So think about it, how is the equation 3 times between parentheses x plus 5 equal 45 different from the equation 3x plus 5 equal 45. Right. Uh, I want to from all to write this equation in your notebook and please try to solve it and tell me your answer. Then we will discuss together what is the difference between this form and this form. Start, please. Mr. The answer is X equals 10. Thank you, Farah. Mr. The answer is equal X equals 10. The answer is X equals 10. Okay, thank Mr. you. Uh, the difference the different, uh, between 3 of the parentheses X and plus 5, uh, the X is with the parentheses. That means uh, it has no, it's not for the 3. But in the, another one, 3x, the variable, it's times by 3. Mm -hmm. Like it's like uh, divided by 3, then plus 1. So we cannot like uh, multiply 3 by 3. And the same as Mr. First one, first three, like by x and 1. We are doing here distributed. But in the next one, we are not doing distributed. Mr. Rodriguez, multiply the plus. 
the answer is different than this one. This one is answer is 10, this one answer is uh, more than 10, maybe 15 or what. Mm -hmm. Great work, Abdullah. Thank you very much. Type, listen to me, please. All students, listen to me. Uh, when you when you want to solve this equation, we have here, as you see, we have distributive property. So take three, multiply by x. Three times x will be three x. Then here we have plus here. Then take three, multiply by five. Three times five will be fifteen. Equal the next side here we have forty five. So the first step. We want to keep the variable alone in the same side, so we want to remove 15. So subtract 3, 15 from the two sides. Plus 15 and minus 15 will be 0. So here we have 3x equal 45 minus 15 will be 30. Then Divide the two sides by the coefficient. The coefficient here will be 3, so divide here by 3 and divide here by 3. 3 divided by 3 will be 1. So here we have just x equal 30 divided by 3 will be 10. Now the solution 10. How to check? Go back to the same equation. Is it 3? times between parentheses substitution with the value of x will be 10 plus 5 is it equal I'm not sure here put here question mark is it equal 45 so check uh, 3 times 10 will be 30. 3 times 5 will be 15. This is 30 plus 15 equal 45. 30 plus 15 will be 45. Yes, equal 45. This is true equation. And this is the true solution. Now, what is the difference between this form and this form? As you see, in this form, we use distributed probability and the value of x will be 10. But the next form here, we have 3x plus 5 equal 45. So the first step, remove 5. Okay. Now we want to compare between the two forms of equation Z. What is the difference between this form and this form? Uh, the first form. 3 multiply by between parentheses x plus 5 equal 45. And the next form we have 3x plus 5 equal 45. And the first form we use distributive property. We take 3 times x will be 3x plus then 3 times 5, 3 times 5 will be 15 equal 45. Then we use the steps to solve this equation. The first step Try to remove 15, so subtract 15 from the two sides. Plus 15 and minus 15 will be 0. So it means here 3x equal uh, 45 
minus 15 will be 30. Then the next step, take the coefficient and divide the two sides by the coefficient. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Uh, 3x divided by 3 will be 1x means x. Equal 30 divided by 3 will be 10. But in the next side, we want to keep the variable alone, so try to remove x, uh, try to, to remove 5. How to remove 5? Subtract 5 from the two sides. Now plus 5 and minus 5 will be 0, remains here 3x. Equal 45 minus 5 will be 40. Then, divide by the coefficient. The coefficient will be 3 here, divide here by 3, and divide here by 3. So, 3x divided by 3 will be x, equal 40 over 3. Uh, 40 over 3, if you want to find the answer, 4 divided by 3 will be 1, 1 times 3, 3, 4 minus 3 will be 1, drop 10, uh, drop 0, the, the number will be 10, 10 divided by 3 will be 3, 3 times 3 will be 9, also we have uh, 10, put here point and put here 0, also we have 3 and here we have 9, so here this is unlimited uh, operation so we can write x equal 13.3 bar notation means 3 repeated for the infinity you have 3 3 3 3 who has any uh, question here this is the difference between the two the two forms here we have the solution x equal 10 and here the solution will be 13.33 uh, bar notation who has any question here Is it clear for all? Uh, no, yes, it's clear for all, Mr. Okay. It's easy, Mr. 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 Now we have this problem. Solve. 5 times between parentheses n minus 2 equals Please call student, put your mic, put your mic, mute, call student. Muhammad Omar and Muhammad Hayani, please put your mic in your, in mute. Okay, we have this problem now. Solve this equation. We have 5 multiplied between parentheses n minus 2 equal minus 30. Then check your solution. You have uh, one or two minutes, please tell me your solution. Start, please. Mr. I think Mr. Um, 
N is a six. Mm. Okay, thank you. Who has different answer? Sir, N is negative six. Negative six. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who has different answer? Sir, I think N is 30 divided by 2 will equal, I mean 60, 60, sorry, Mr. Equals 60. Okay, 2 has different answer. Okay, listen to me, please. What can I do in, here in this problem to solve this equation, to find the solution? Here, as you see, we want to uh, use distributive property, take 5, multiply by n. 5 times n will be 5n. Then take 5, multiply by minus 2, will be minus 10. Equal here, minus 10. The next step, we want to keep the variable n alone. So try to remove minus 10 from the two sides. So add the inverse. Here we have minus 10, add the inverse, means plus 10. Minus 10 plus 10 will be 0, remains here 5n. Equal minus 30 plus 10 will be minus 20. Then remove 5 from, uh, this is the coefficient, so divide 5 from the two sides. 5 divided by 5 will be 1, 1n one means n, equal minus 20 divided by 4, so we divide by 5 will be minus 4. So the solution, minus 4. But how to check if we have uh, the right solution or not? Go back to the same equation. We have here 5, multiply between parentheses, and the value of n now will be minus 4, minus 2, is it equal minus 30? Now minus 4, minus 2, minus 6 times 5 will be here minus 30. Is it minus 30 equal minus 30? Yes, true. So this is the true solution. This is the true solution. Who has any question here? Is it clear for all? Yes, Mr. Clear. Clear, Mr. Now we have this problem, solve 0 0.2 multiply between parentheses, C minus 3 equal minus 10. Then check your solution. Start it, please.
Mister, I think, uh, not sure. C is uh, 30, negative 30. C. Okay, thank you, Abdullah. Who has different answer? Mister, negative 10. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mr. Wait, I'm solving it now. Mr. The answer is C. Equals negative 47. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, check with me, please. And the first step, use distributive property here. Take 0 0.2, multiply by C, will be 0 0.2. C. Then take 0 0.2, multiply by 3. 0 0.2, multiply by 3. And here we have minus. So will be 0 0.6, 0 0.2 times minus 3 will be minus 0 0.6 equal minus 10. The first step, try to remove minus 0 0.6 from this side. So add the inverse. The inverse of minus 0 0.6 will be plus 0 0.6. So add it to the two sides. So minus 0 0.6 and plus 0 0.6 will be uh, 0. It means here 0 0.2 C equal. Now here we have minus 10 and plus 0 0.6 equal 9.4. Try to remove the coefficient, divide here by 0 0.2, and divide here by 0 0.2. Uh, 0 0.2 C divided by 0 0.2 will be C, equal minus divided by plus will be minus. And here we want to find the answer. As you know, when the divisor have a decimal, we cannot do the division. So what I do, try to remove Try to remove the, the point. So multiply up and down here by 10. So multiply up by 10 will be 94. And multiply down by 10 will be 2. Now 94 divide by 2. Will be minus 47. So the answer will be minus 47 so this is the solution now we want to check go back to the same equation we have 0 0.2 times the value of c here will be now minus 40, 47 minus 3 is it equal minus 10. And this side, minus 47 and minus 3 will be minus 50. So now we have 0 0.2 times minus 50. Is it equal minus 10? Now, 0 0.2 times minus uh, 50, as you see here, this is 50, and this is here 0 0.2. 
2 times 0, 0, 2 times 5, 10. Then put here 0, and here 0 times 0, 0, 0 times 5, 0. Then add will be 1, 0, 0, and the point after one digit, so the point will be here. So we can remove the point and the 0 from here, so the answer will be what here? 10. So here we have minus 10. Is it minus 10 equal minus 10? Yes, Mr. Yes. So this is the true equation and this is the true solution. And this is the true solution. Who has any question here? So that question is nobody. Okay, what is the name of our lesson today? Uh, Mr. Our, our Solve two set equations. Solve two set equation. Uh, P uh, open parenthesis x plus q uh, close parenthesis equal four. I equal uh, R. Sorry. Great, Abdullah. Great for all. So our lesson today: solve two steep equations from the form P between parentheses x plus q equal R equal R. So this is our period today. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.